Hey, so what can Amazon sellers do about transparency codes violation? In this video, we're going to share the answer. Today with me, David Miller, he's a lawyer. He helps Amazon sellers. We have many videos with David in the description. There's a playlist and all his contacts are in the description as well. David, welcome. Thanks, Boba. Thanks for having me as always. So we're seeing an increase in transparency code violations. So essentially what that is, is there are brands out there in order to make sure that they're not counterfeit products. They enable transparency codes. They put them on the product. So essentially, if the product does not have that transparency code on it, Amazon will assume that the products are counterfeit. Unfortunately, there are some sellers that offer legitimate products that for whatever reason don't have those codes. So that's what I want to talk about. We had a seller that was offering authentic products. It was clear as day. It is from an authorized distributor and even on the brand's website, those authorized distributors are listed and invoices and receipts were provided to Amazon. Now, the only issue was this brand was part of the transparency code program. And for whatever reason, these products did not have those codes on them. So Amazon flagged it and removed the products. So the first step is when you're in contact with an authorized distributor or the brand directly, if you know they have an Amazon presence, find out if they are part of that program. And if they are, make sure that those codes are on the products. Number two, make sure as always you have solid invoices, okay? One of the more common things that I'm seeing now is the buyer information not matching the Amazon seller. So if your Amazon account is in the, your individual name, for example, but let's say your brother or your husband or wife bought the product and that's on the invoice now, Amazon doesn't like that. Plain and simple, okay? And of course, you always want to make sure that the quantity exceeds your Amazon sales. I always talk about this, but I still see it almost weekly where that's not the case, right? So you sold 100 units of a product and the invoices you're providing to Amazon only represent 10 units. Mm -hmm. So those are my main two tips, and that's the latest Amazon trend that we're seeing. <laughs> Awesome. We're going to have the playlist of more videos about all this legal part of Amazon with David in the description and all the contacts of David. If you need help with solving these issues, maybe you've gotten such a letter from Amazon or any other problem, David can help you with that. Have a great day. It's all in the description. Thank you.